Is your skincare and makeup routine aging you? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to change up your skincare and your makeup routine just with tweaks that will turn back the years. So let's dive right in. The first on my list is cleansing and exfoliating. Now, yes, we all wash our face, but what are you using? Is it gentle on aging skin? And are you exfoliating on a regular basis? Now I use a daily cleanser. I use it twice a day. It takes off all my makeup plus cleanses the skin. And then I follow up with a gentle exfoliator that just goes on. I can use it every day. And now some exfoliators are much more harsh. You only use them once or twice a week, but this is like very gentle, very soft. And like I said, I can use it on a daily basis. The importance of good cleansing and exfoliating is it's going to remove the layer of dead skin cells and it's also going to give your skin a clearer and more vibrant appearance. Number two on my list is managing facial hair. Now this is one of the things I was not ready for when I went through menopause and went over 50 just the amount of hair that started showing up on my face. My eyebrows have grown like crazy. They, they get like these long whippy things that need to go away and I get uh, a unibrow and I actually get hair on my lip like a mustache. I get it on my chin. I get peach fuzz. So using these two trimmers you can do it at home. I know, I know you can do waxing as well but I've discovered these uh, in 2020 and I'm not going back because I actually love these products and they're just so easy to use. I, I use this little power trimmer. I trim my eyebrows. I trim that unibrow that I've got going on. I trim my lip and my chin and I do that like a couple times a week and it doesn't trim it so short that you feel like you have um, razor burn and or stubble of any kind it just gives a nice little trim and cleans up now the other thing i do is to get rid of the peach fuzz i use this little facial shaver and you just rub it along your cheek where you have the peach fuzz along the neck the jawline and take that little bit of peach fuzz off and what that will do is it will make your skincare and your makeup go on like butter I love it. And I notice a difference because it's not getting tangled up in hair anymore. It's just like a nice smooth glide. So give that a try if you're discovering facial hair that you didn't want. These two little tricks are mwah. Number three on my list is using skincare that actually turns back the clock. Now this brings me to our sponsor for today, Calisim, who sent me this these beautiful products. I haven't felt like my skin has looked this good in years. So let's talk about it a little bit. You know, we see a lot of hoopla and, and hooey on the market when it comes to beauty and cosmetics. However, this one is backed by doctors that created it. I met with a microbiologist on a Zoom call from Callison to help explain all of the real medical knowledge that goes into this product. Here's what makes Calisim so unique from other anti-aging treatments that are on the market. They have a patented ingredient called PTT6 and it's the only skincare in the world with a huge amount of stem cell derived actives. In fact, just one milliliter contains 3000 proteins that supercharge your own cells by sending them messages and it actually helps your skin produce the protein that your own body needs to help address many skin concerns. I'm very excited to show you my prod the products I use and the routine I have. You can go check the link in my description and use code NANCY2023. I'll link both, both will be in the description if you missed that. So go check it out and let's get into what I love about these products. Now you can see my skin is definitely not perfect. I have a ton of freckles. I have lots of redness and rosacea, sun damage, and even this look at this huge sunspot that I developed about 20 years ago. And like I said, I don't like to change up my skincare routine because I have very sensitive skin. It causes lots of redness and irritation. But after they sent me the product and I met with the microbiologist from the company, 
it really was a game changer and I could not wait to dive in to these products. I've only been using them about two weeks so I I'm very excited to show you down the road the changes that my skin has made because I can already see a difference. My skin feels smoother, it's more hydrated, it's plumper, and flakes that I've been fighting for years have gone by the wayside. Okay, so here are the products that I use from Callison. I follow my normal cleansing routine, like I showed you with exfoliating and cleansing, but then I get to use my Callison products. I start with the holy grail of this line it's the calcium professional serum and this little pink jar is packed with a lot of punch it contains the highest level of ptt6 stem cell serum it helps diminish fine lines and wrinkles improves elasticity it improves your skin's texture and it repairs the skin and it helps reduce inflammation in fact a lot of doctors offices use these products after skin treatments this is their go-to product product for speeding up the healing time and I have some I have some healing mosquito bites and I tried putting it on that and I can notice that they are actually healing faster than ever before and you don't need much of this product just a few little drops and you pat it into the skin and then you move on to the next step which is their multi-action cream and as much as I love that pink product, if you're really looking for something to get into the product and give it a try, this multi-action cream is kind of my go-to recommendation. It is a stem cell cream. It boosts collagen and elastin production, and it helps to lift and firm the skin. And if you're debating over which of these products to start with, if you just want to start with one product, start with this one because you're actually going to get the most bang for your buck you're going to get the ptt6 stem cell in there but you'll get the most longevity out of it because it's a whole jar of this cream as opposed to the little tiny dropper and if you want to try it all i did notice on their website they have little packages available so that you can try it out. The product I'm actually most excited about using is the one that addresses my uneven freckled skin, especially this large sunspot that I've had for 20 years. I've been asked with this spot, I've been asked so many times if I got punched in the face, how I bruised my eye. So I'm really looking forward to getting rid of that spot. And I use this pro pigment solution two times a day. Now I move on to the moisturizer. It's their restorative hydration cream. This moisturizer, deeply hydrates your skin. It makes your skin look less dull, more plump, more dewy, and definitely more hydrated. The final product that I use is their Recovery Night Complex. And it just is a very thin layer. It's almost like a, 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 almost like a mask, but it goes on like a serum. You put a very small amount, a very thin layer over your skin, and you go to sleep with it on wake up in the morning and wash it off just like you would normally wash your skin. And what I love is like I told you I have rosacea. It calms that inflammation and the redness. And I'm really excited to continue with the skincare line. Not only does this routine pare down on the number of skincare products I use, but I've also noticed quick results. And I'm looking forward to what it's going to look like in three months, six months. And I will definitely keep you updated in future videos. And there's one more thing I want to talk about this product. Calcium has an advanced hair serum that will regrow your hair. I know a lot of us deal with thinning hair, patches, alopecia, and this product will bring back your hair. In fact, you can look at these clinical trials and the results, the before and after results are just astounding that it will regrow your hair. There's a whole system. I just wanted to mention it. I haven't actually tried it, but I wanted to let you know that it's available for you. And you can get any of these products that I mentioned or anything on the Callisum site at the discounted price using code Nancy 2023. I'll provide the link in the description and I hope you give it a try. Now let's move on to tip number four and we're going to talk about eyebrows. Have your eyebrows thinned, faded, or turned gray? My eyebrows have gotten so bad, so light, and faded away that apps can't even recognize my face. When I go to use social media and use those little tools that will let you like a crown on your head or it will say where's the face put the face on well I, I have to actually apply an eyebrow color to my eyebrows so that it will appear and I use this very light color 
but it do, it's just enough to define my face and you can see the difference that one it makes when I do one eye versus the other how much more it frames my face and it provides a much more youthful look because we are used to seeing younger women with more hair on their eyebrows and darker eyebrows so don't be afraid to play those eyebrows up and really let them frame your face the next on my list is mascara now how you apply mascara can make a big difference and if you're still applying mascara to your bottom lashes you might be aging yourself here's why you don't want to apply mascara to the bottom lashes it draws focus to the lines and wrinkles that appear under your eye bottom smudging and flaking can make you look like you have dark circles under your eye and if you already have dark circles it's going to make them look darker it also will kind of close off the eye it makes your eye appear smaller while leaving the bottom lashes bare will open up the eye and that provides a much more natural and youthful look another thing you might be doing is putting your blush on incorrectly in fact I did my blush here and I'm wearing I'm wearing all the mistakes on this side of my face so if you're noticing a difference that's why I have the blush on incorrectly and we are taught as young ladies to apply the blush to the apple of our cheeks so we all smile we put the blush right here and off we go but what that's doing is it's weighing down your face so what you want to do is you want to put the blush up on your cheekbone you can still contour underneath you can highlight above but you want to put it on your cheekbone high and near the back of like just past your eye and you wipe you brush upwards not downwards so if you're lifting instead of being pulled down so this side is this is where I'm normally red this is what I want to get rid of so I'm not going to put that here I'm going to put it up here and that will make a difference. Number seven on the list that could be aging you is wearing dark matte lipstick. And I know those trends come and go. Sometimes it's matte, sometimes it's glossy. But as a woman over 50, you kind of want to ditch the matte, dark matte colors because actually our lips become smaller, more curled under as we age. That darkness is just going to make your lips appear smaller. Plus, if you have aging lips that have lines around them, it will cause those, those darker colors are like perfect ground for feathering. And it will make that feathering and bleeding much more noticeable. So stick to a gloss. I use this one from, I use this Revlon The Gloss, super lustrous. It's my, oh, I love it. It's super glossy. It stays on great. And I also use this one from Thrive Cosmetics. Just a nice gloss, great if you're wearing a darker color. It's not too dark, not too heavy. And I always start with a lip pencil to get rid of any feathering or bleeding. And then, like I said, go right into a nice pigmented gloss. Number eight on the list that could be aging you is you're still using powdered makeup if you're still using powders you really want to rethink that because they settle in the fine lines and wrinkles they make your fit makeup look cakey they make you look older and if you switch to creams it's much better on your skin first of all it's moisturizing it's not going to settle the way powders do and once you start on a cream just go all cream so i use a cream foundation cream concealer cream eyeshadows blush everything has switched to cream and i actually have found it stays on much better to my skin than when i was using powders and not dried and crunchy and powder like the powders can do you know what one of the biggest things that gives away aging especially when you do all kinds of things to take really good care of your skin and your face is that a lot of us neglect our necks and our hands and that is a huge way that people can tell your age so what you want to do because our skin thins we get sun damage on our neck our skin on our hands thins is apply a good SPF sunscreen every day to the neck to the hands you can even use that multi-action cream just a dot or two on your hands and neck will help plump up the skin and help turn back the clock on aging 
what are your thoughts? Do you have any tips or tricks that I left out? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments. Don't forget about the discount code Nancy2023 on Calisim, and I'll see you in the next video.